Today we announced the CAPSI Inventors Program. The CAPSI Inventors Program is a five-year million dollar prize program to respond to specific challenges in environment and health. And this year's prizes will be offered in coral reef restoration and personal detection and avoidance of carcinogens. Very excited to be here uh, with this outstanding panel of innovators in science and technology and medicine uh, at the kickoff of what is going to be a globally notable uh, competition uh, and innovation happening in our very own city at the Frost Museum of Science. And I'm a coral biologist and I study how corals adapt and acclimatize to climate change. Coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea uh, and the reason for that is there are more marine species in coral reefs than in any other marine ecosystem. They're sort of these dense warehouses of biodiversity and even though they cover only well, about less than tenth of one percent of the world's surface area, by some estimates they include somewhere between a quarter and a third of all the world's marine fish species. The situation for coral reefs is pretty dire. Uh, one of their main threats is climate change and ocean acidification. So as we warm uh, the earth up through the production of greenhouse gases, that's warming the oceans up and the heat stress on corals uh, turns out to be um, pretty critical for them. They live very close to their thermal limits. Innovation is, is really what drives science forward and we're at a really exciting time in science right now where uh, the area of genomics and the ability to sequence genes of organisms very quickly and very cheaply is revealing a whole new um, uh, series of opportunities for how we can understand how corals can uh, recover from disturbance. Corals are tremendously important to the local economy. Coral reefs globally are under assault from changing climate, from human practices, environmental degradation. In the Caribbean alone, we've lost about 80% of coral cover in the last four decades. And I think that the capital prize in coral reefs can be transformative. I'm John Bella, I'm an urbanist and designer with Gale Studio. I'm here facilitating this session about envisioning the future of frost science, getting uh, this group engaged, some, some board members, some folks from the press together this morning, thinking about brainstorming with some key questions about the role of frost science in the future. And we just had a great brainstorming session, actually. A lot of, a lot of great ideas came up, powerful ideas about translating, amplifying, taking advantage of Miami's cultural diversity and at the same time facing some of the social, economic, environmental crises and figuring out how to chart a course forward. Really great session this morning. concept is a program around the idea of informal science conversations. So the idea that a lot of, like Biff mentioned, people who go through academic programs, the best conversations are with a beer in an informal environment. Tonight I'm presenting some work we are doing in my lab. We explore the potential of the Internet of Things and how it applies to architecture and how it may transform the field. The Internet of Things re uh, refers to the, the possibility of actually putting every object around us online. What I think has been really wonderful about this weekend is the way that it matches things like Creative Mornings, which is not a, not a museum uh, invention, it's a, it's a much broader invention. And I think the fact that we were able to you know, attract Malik Benjamin and the whole Creative Mornings crew is exceptional. And it helps tie the whole weekend together. So being able to start with the announcement of the, of the CAPSI inventors go on to last night's Science Up Close and talking to 
Dean Rudolf al talking about the Internet of Things, this morning Creative Mornings, this afternoon Gale Architects talking about the Miami of the Future, this evening Pecha Kuchas around transportation, energy, environment, architecture and design, and how all of those play out in the city of the future. Our own museum and the innovation in the museum and how that plays out will be extraordinary. So Gale Studio is a people-first design company. We focus on public spaces and urban design. And I think our role in the, uh, the weekend is to facilitate a series of discussions around the role that the Innovation Center at Frost Science uh, can play uh, in creating the city of the future for Miami. The wall was created by, we selected 200 images, provocative images around four themes transportation, then design, then energy, the environment. Four themes. The idea behind the wall is to use the images to provoke people's emotional responses around these four issues. And then using what we gather from those emotional responses, we actually ask people to help us, help the Frost Museum think about their role in the future. with which everybody at the table is lecked in. Um, even if they were taking positions different from one another, they were all talking, they were totally engaged, not a silent mouth on that table, at any table. Uh, and I think I've been a longtime fan of Gell. We, we uh, you know, admire their work, have all of their materials, do some collaborative work with them in Europe. Um, and it, it's just, it's a stroke of genius to include them in this because they are the ones who are inventing ways of creating great places for people. Um, and I think we can collaborate on that effort and, you know, our perspective stretches out to the edges of the spectrum, but very much in sync with them. Hildebrand, I've been doing uh, Pecha Kucha, which is the English pronunciation, or Pacha Cha Cha, which is the Japanese phonetic way of pronouncing uh, the word. And it means chit chat in Japanese, or otherwise the sound of chit chat. And it was devised by two architects in Tokyo with this brilliant idea of like helping people get to the point. Uh, we're in a very short attention span society. And we love that people lecture and can go on and on and on, but how great would it be just if they said, this is what's important, this, this is what we need to pay attention to. Good evening, I'm Camille Coley. I'm from Florida Atlantic University, and as uh, Carl said, I'm talking about blue energy. Hi, my name is David Rifkind, and I teach uh, architectural history, theory, and design at uh, FIU. Hi, I'm Meg Daly, and I'm founder of Friends of the Underline. I'm really excited to be here tonight. Hi, I'm Steve Davis. I'm a wetland ecologist with the Everglades Foundation. It's a pleasure to be here. Hello, I'm Trevor Powers. I am here today to tell you about our new museum. 